some questions you may want to ask yourself to help determine if it is a sleep disorder. Do you feel irritable or sleepy during the day? Or have difficulty staying awake when sitting still, watching television or reading? Or fall asleep or feel very tired while driving? Do you have difficulty concentrating, often getting told by others that you look tired or react slowly? Have trouble controlling your emotions or feel like you have to take a nap almost every day? Or do you require caffeinated beverages to keep yourself going? If you answer yes to any of the previous questions, you may have a sleep disorder. In addition to insomnia, the most common sleep disorder are sleep apnea, rest leg syndrome, and narcolepsy. Sleep apnea is a common sleep disorder in which your breathing temporarily stops during the sleep due to blockage of the upper airways. Restless leg syndrome is a sleep disorder that causes an almost irresistible urge to move your legs or arms. Narcolepsy is a sleep disorder that involves excessive, uncontrollable daytime sleepiness. Once again, you're listening to Miss Sassy D at WDROPDE 4445, bringing you health alerts and information for better health where your health matters. Stay tuned in for more information where it's going down. What's up, Orlando? This is Miss Sassy D, bringing you your health tip for today. There are some ways to help prevent blood clots. You can help prevent blood clots if you wear loose-fitting clothes, socks, or stockings, raise your legs six inches above your heart from time to time, wear special stockings called compression stockings if your doctor prescribes them, do exercises your doctor gives you, change your position often, especially during a long trip, do not stand or sit for more than one hour at a time, eat less salt, try not to bump or hurt your legs and try not to cross them, do not use pillows under your knees, raise the bottom of your bed four to six inches with blocks or books, take all medications that